Hi everyone, it's Jason today coming to you with a Curious Kids virtual program. Today we're going to talk about a sequence or a pattern called the Fibonacci pattern or better known as the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci was a man who lived in Pisa back in the 1200s. He grew up as a merchant. His father was a merchant and he grew up as a merchant. And as he grew older, he traveled around the Mediterranean coast as a merchant. And as he was traveling, he learned a new math system called the Hindu Arabic numeral system, which was different than what he was using. He was using the Roman numeral system at the time. And the difference was that with the new system, which is the system we use today, it was easier to calculate and add and subtract things. He wrote a book about this um, called the book of Abacus or the book of calculation and through him writing the book the Hindu Arabic numeral system became more popular in Europe and they did start to do away with the Roman numerals and this is the, again the system we use today. But what makes Fibonacci so cool, his real name was Leonard of Pisa or Leonard Bigelow. And he was called Fibonacci. He discovered this cool pattern as he was traveling the world. And the pattern he noticed was almost everywhere and the pattern is come has become the Fibonacci sequence what the pattern is is he started with zero then one then you add those two together zero plus one gives you one then you add 1 plus 1 to give you 2. Then you add the 2 plus the number before, which was 1, to give you 3. Then it's 5 and 8. 13, 21, and 34. And it just goes on and on forever. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see that up at the top here. But you just simply take the, the two numbers together, so in this case, 0 plus 1 to give you 1. And to get the next number, you take the previous two numbers. So 1 plus 1 gives you 2. So to get the 3, you have to take the 2 plus the 1. And to give you the 5, you take the 3 plus the 2, and it just goes on forever like that. And then you take the 8 plus the 5 to get to 13, and so on and so on. And it can go forever. And he started seeing this pattern everywhere he was looking. Well, this pattern creates a ratio. And what a ratio is, is just simply a kid comparison between two things or comparison between two numbers. So if you compare 5 and 3 you get a ratio. If you compare 13 and 8 you get a ratio. Well while he was doing this he noticed that the ratio between all these numbers was really close to 0.618. Well, he started studying this, and he found that this ratio came up in many places. And that this number sequence also came up 
and almost everywhere. He saw it in the trees. As you can see, the tree starts out one branch, one branch, then all of a sudden it has two branches, then the tree grows up, all of a sudden it has three branches, then it goes to five branches, it gets older, then eight, then thirteen, and if the tree kept going it would keep following the Fibonacci sequence, which is really neat. He noticed it in trees. He also noticed it in all kinds of different nature things in nature. If you pick up flowers, there are several flowers that if you count the petals, um, the petals will come out to five or three or eight, which are all Fibonacci sequence numbers. So he, he found that this was really cool. Well, he did a thing where he grafted the numbers on a graph, like I did here. So the first number was 1, so he grafted a 1 by 1 bots, and the second number was a 1 by 1 bots, and you get your 2 by 2, and your 3, your three by 3, then it goes 5 by 5, then your 8 by 8, and 13 by 13. And when you do this, it creates this cool spiral that you can see on my graph. If you connect all the corners of these boxes, you get this really cool spiral. Well, he started noticing that this spiral showed up in all kinds of nature. He noticed that these spirals showed up on acorns, on the bottom of um, acorns and pine cones. Here's a picture of a pine cone, and it shows you that this swirl, which matches the swirl that he discovered on his graph. But what's even neater is as he was counting the swirls, if you go one way, he came up with 13 swirls. If you go the other way, he came up with 8 swirls, which are numbers on the Fibonacci sequence. Well, he also noticed that the swirls were on shells, and even artists use it. If you look at Sonic, they use the sequence to draw pictures and they use it to build houses. And even the human body uses this sequence. On your hand, if you go from the tip of your finger to your first knuckle, that would be like your one. Then you go from your first knuckle to your second knuckle and you get B. But then you create the ratio from the Fibonacci sequence. So if you take A and B and go from your second knuckle to your third knuckle, that distance will be really close to the distance of your first knuckle and your second knuckle, the length of your finger. So so A and B, as you can see on my chart here, hopefully, if you add A and B, you get C. And if you add B and C, you get D, which is a bone in your hand. And this works all the way up your arm and your leg. So the first little part of your finger, if you take that section, and add it with the next section, you're going to come really close to getting the section between these two knuckles. Then if you add this section and that section, you're going to get this bone that runs in your hand. If you take your hand, your fingers in your hand, those add up. And it goes all the way up your arm. So that sequence will happen all the way up your arm. So if you take this part of your arm and add it from your wrist to your knuckles here, it's going to equal from your elbow to your shoulder, or be very, very close anyway. It may not be exactly, but it's going to be very, very close. And you'll see 
And if you go out and pick up flowers, you'll see this these numbers repeating, which are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and it just goes on forever with that sequence. You'll find it on flowers. You'll see in trees that the trees split off that way. You'll see it, see that artists will use this spiral to help make their paintings look better. And it is said, it is said, I don't know if it's true or not, that the closer your body parts are to this ratio, this golden ratio, the prettier people consider you. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's really true or not, but there's something to think about anyway. So, like, even a human face will use the spiral. Your ear matches the spiral. So this is just a really cool thing that Fibonacci came across and found. And he is actually credited for it, although he's not really the one that discovered it. Ancient people in India and other countries discovered this well before Fibonacci, but Fibonacci is the one that gets credit, credit for this. And what I really would just want you to understand is the sequence of 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. So you just add the two numbers previous to get the next number. Add 3 and 2, you get 5. 5 and 3, 8. All the way up forever. And the bigger those numbers get, the closer that ratio is to that point sits one eight. So I hope you learned a little bit today. I hope you understood this. It may have been a little hard to understand, but maybe you and a grown up can do a little more research and find out more information about this and learn a little bit more about the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. I hope you enjoyed this. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.